Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Harry. Now, as you may have noticed, or known, or read, the shipyard ships get rolled over on the 27th, which is on Wednesday. So I did, a bit, did put a poll out, and by a, <laughs> by a small sliver, this one won. This is the Missouri, the Mighty Mo, the Tier 9 Premium Battleship that you can still get out of the shipyard until Wednesday when it gets rolled over and we don't know yet what it's going to be but uh, we'll get six new ships so if you still need to make up your mind and you're still considering this then that's why we're doing this review the Missouri has a very long history she was the last uh, battleship of, uh, that was built for the American Navy and she was fighting in the Second World War, she was fighting in wars after that, until uh, the First Iraq War even. And she still exists, she's a museum ship over in Pearl Harbor. So I could fill probably a whole video just with history about this ship alone and the operations that she's been in. But um, when I was doing some research I came across one story that uh, kind of stuck particularly out to me. And that's not so much about the ship, but about her captain. During the Battle of uh, Okinawa, during the invasion of the Japanese home islands, the, uh, there was an incident when a Japanese kamikaze plane crashed into the, into the rear section of the Missouri. Now, the kamikaze plane had a bomb on it and was shot up pretty badly by the time it crashed in. The bomb didn't arm, so all that happened was that the plane explode, uh, more or less exploded, broke apart, and caused a lot of fire on deck, uh, but uh, nobody, got, nobody got hurt except for obviously the pilot who died during that attack. Now, the crew wanted to sweep his remains together with the remains of the, of the plane just down from the ship and into the ocean and be done with it. The captain though, Captain Callahan of the Missouri, he was, he was objecting. And he asked, uh, he demanded that the crew give this Japanese kamikaze pilot uh, a, a military funeral, uh, because he said he was he is a he is a young soldier. He did his duty, and uh, to the best of his abilities, and uh, that should be respected. So overnight they stitched together a Japanese flag, because obviously this being an American battleship in 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 the Second World War, in the final stages of the battle against Japan, they didn't have one laying around, so they stitched one together. And the next, uh, the next day, at the, at the place where the plane had impacted, gave that pilot a military funeral, which I think is absolutely remarkable. And to this day, you can see the dent in the plating of the Missouri, if you go over to Pearl Harbor, where that kamikaze plane has impacted. And I think out of all things that a ship might have done during a war, such an action really, really stands out. So that's why I just kind of wanted to to drop that story in here. But that aside, obviously, this is a very um, a very famous ship. She's an Iowa class, but she's not the first out of the Iowa class. Uh, she's one of the later batches. So she does get um, a couple of improvements, but that brings us actually to a good point. In the game, we have the Iowa at tier nine, which is the tech tree ship. And we have the Missouri at tier nine, which is the premium battleship Iowa class. How do these two compare? Let's quickly go through the list. So I've, uh, I've actually upgraded the Iowa herself all the way to just make them comparable. The Missouri gets uh, just a couple more hit points, not many. Uh, this might actually even be done. Let me, let me take the camo out and then see if that changes it. Um, no, nope. so she, she does get a little bit more in terms of hit points, but it's really just a couple hundred. Other than that, the armor protection values that we see here are identical. Now, the actual Missouri has a stronger uh, forward transverse bulkhead, which is kind of the frontal part of the Citadel, uh, which is uh, the, which in the early Iowa was, was, was thinner because these were fast battleships and they were expected to you know, be on flanking maneuvers and rush into things head on they actually strengthened in the later versions the, the armor a little bit on that section. But other than that, uh, excellent fire and flooding resistance as we are expecting from American battleships. In terms of speed, they are, again, about identical. I haven't put the modules into the Iowa, so, uh, so the acceleration and turn time are, are a little bit off here, 
But the Missouri has a slight edge there, very slight. The guns um, really are absolutely the same. They are the identical Mark 7 406mm turrets, three of them, two front, front uh, one in the aft. And the same goes for the secondaries. We've got 127mm secondaries, uh, 10, 10 twin turrets all the way around. Uh, th they do get um, a slight different designation. These are Mark 32s apparently, and these are Mark 12s, but uh, in all intents and purposes, they look identical in the game here. In terms of AA, American battleships have a very, very good uh, aircraft, uh, anti-aircraft def defense. The Missouri has just a very slight edge here in the small caliber AA with 496 versus 473, but it's not, it's not noticeable. And she is just ever so slightly more st stealthy, if that's a word we can use for something this size. So why would you then want the Missouri? I mean, besides the obvious fact that it's the Missouri and you would, you know, want to have that ship. But uh, she looks in, in, in almost all, for almost all intents and purposes, identical to the Iowa. Um, let's, uh, let's take a look at, um, at the ship skills on the Iowa, because there are there is a difference. And that's not where it is, that's where it is. The Iowa, as the preceding ships, gets uh, three rapid reload ones for speeding up your main battery reload. The Iowa's equipment is the full set, including the, um, the uh, artillery plotting room module that you could use for extending range. I haven't played the Iowa because, you know, personal rules. I haven't unlocked the Iowa yet in my private account, so I will not be playing her in my press account. But if the preceding ships are any, any way to go by, uh, the long-range performance of these guns isn't necessarily the greatest. In the Missouri, we get the same, the same uh, potential modules that we can, but um, the ship skills are very different. So the Missouri has two radars. That, that's, that's, that's a bit of a first, which probably plays homage to the point that she's actually been in service for longer, uh, longer after the Second World War. Because we don't get to see radar very much in uh, in battleships usually, and she gets the precise aiming system. Now this is a bit of a theme here. So the um, the Alabama, the Tier Eight American uh, premium battleship, also gets the precise aiming, and the Alabama plays a lot better at plunging ranges at long distance as a sniper ship, rather than she would play as a brawler. How I would play the the tech tree ships. And again, I haven't played the Tier Eights, the North Carolina either. I'm just up to the Colorado, but um, again, slightly different theme here, and the Missouri looks looks somewhat similar. So how, how have I set her up? The elite bonus, uh, that's the same as on the Iowa. I've given her the, uh, the main battery firing range because I see the ship as a longer range ship. Now, one thing you've got to be aware of on the Iowa class is uh, the armor or the comparative luck thereof. <laughs> we will get into that probably at another video in a bit more detail, but let me just say that um, I think the Iowas get about 300 seven millimeters of, of main belt armor, whereas a New Mexico tier six at 340, they are not particularly well armored. And that is somewhat accurate because the real world uh, Iowas were built for speed and were built as more mobile flanking, crew, uh, flanking battleships, uh, fast battleships, rather than the main line, uh, ship of the line sort of ships. So she is not, I mean, she's not super squishy, but she's, uh, for in at tier nine, she is not particularly well armored. Uh, now the Monty, on the other hand, is a very tough nut to crack, but these things are not. So you got to be a bit careful, and I think that's what might be a difficulty for playing the actual Iowa. Whereas the Missouri, with that setup, I've set her up for range a little bit more, uh, which is why I've chosen the main battery mod three here to get a better dispersion. I've actually got the propulsion mod one here to. Um, because on, a, on an American battleship, I really don't need the deck protection mod, I think, because, well, they are relatively resistant to fire to begin with. And I've got the steering mod in slot three. My somewhat tried and trusted battleship setup these days. But um, yeah, that also goes into how I've set the commander up. I've put a, I've put a level nine commander in here and uh, she gets the Underwater protection expert. Just because I feel that this is something that um, someone, someone who would actually get this ship and 
put put a commander in there would actually be be doing you know so one one problem you have with the with the american premium battleships is that they're not particularly good commander trainers because of their different setup now first the alabama now this one um they have the precise aiming skill which is really contrary to what you would use on on a tech tree american battleship which is a little bit irritating really so i have underwater protection no, no surprises here torpedo alert artillery maintenance and victorious charge now here on on a main on a mainline battleship i would have gone survivalist but uh, i've used the fire supremacy because she only gets um how many how many does she get uh, yeah she only gets two precise aiming system twos and you're at tier nine so you get seven minute battles so this gives us an additional charge for the precise aiming then generalist makes kind of sense the marksman skill again makes sense because she has the precise aiming uh, extinguisher just because um, you could go for adrenaline rush as well um, I, I it's it's not it wouldn't have been a bad choice I, I picked this one just because um, you you're in tier 9 you do occasionally get set on fire there are a lot of he H spammers around I've got the de uh, demolition expert and uh, probably either honor seeker or uh, compartment maintenance would be next and then obviously the APCS so I'm playing this without armor-piercing cap shell, just as I usually do, because not everybody has the captains up there, and I don't want people to get unrealistic expectations about what this what this kind of ship can do. Um, the historical camo is pretty good. She gives us hit points, she gives us range, she gives us dispersion. And so again, this this plays towards this being a being a more ranged ship. But um, I've played her on the Blitz camo because again, not everybody wants to sh fork out five thousand gold for the historic camo on a on a tier 9 premium. So I've played her on this one, which only gives us a 3% range and uh, a little bit of dispersion. So it's not it's somewhat similar to what the historical would do, but it's it's the free one. All right. So how do we play this ship then? All right, here we are on encounter with base capture. We are in a carrier battle, we're top tier, and there are two destroyers on the enemy team, so we got to watch out a little bit for those. Now, um I find that um, taking point in the Missouri was not very successful. <laughs> I, I tend to get focused down quite a bit and she isn't the sturdiest battleship out there. She really plays for me more like a battle cruiser. She's quick, she's decently maneuverable, uh, she's got um, and, and she's precise at range with this setup. So uh, we've got Fletcher and Takao here with me. So let's see where they're going. Uh, at this point, again, because it's carrier, I can do some form. I can do a little bit of AA support for the Fletcher, well, depending on where the carrier is heading. So it looks like Takao is moving forward, and um, maybe goes for a wide for a wide angle. So I want to support that push and don't just sit back uh, sit back at base and and wait wait for the and let these two run into the uh, run into the enemy. Anyway, I'm a top tier battleship, so uh, that's what I'm for. Okay, I'm spotted. That means. I'm not air spotted. That means one of the DDs is probably about there-ish. Uh, let's say there. Oh, there, there's the Kiev. <laughs> okay, not gonna waste some shots onto that thing. First of all, I've got the armor piercing taco. Hopefully, can deal with that thing. Uh, let's open up at the enemy IOL over there. Okay, there come the Kiev torps. Uh, ta 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 taco. Where are you going? Oi! You! <laughs> Stop running away! Oh, box. Okay. Uh, well, well, okay, so we're under fire by the Kiev. Um, she's she's going to have a hard time setting me on fire. So I'm going to keep shooting at the Iowa and reversing again. Because our team has decided, nope, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're going back to base. Okay, so Kiev's coming after me. Uh, I'm just going to ignore him for the time being, because he doesn't have long-range torpedoes. And I've got the Iowa coming in here. I don't want to load the, the, the high explosive. Fletcher can hopefully ambush the Iowa, and maybe that distracts the Iowa, but in case he doesn't... Come on, Fletcher, you can do it. Good I'm just job. reversing away from the Kiev, it's gonna take a while for the Kiev to catch up with me and be in torpedo range, and I can deal with them then. Okay, Iowa has decided, nope, we're going around and going aggressive, but then he spotted the Fletcher. Which means he's giving me flat broadside, and what have I said about this flat armor? Let's see what we can do. Come on, come on, come on, come on, reload, reload. Uh, not the greatest armor out there. There we go. <laughs> Okay, carrier drops Fletcher. Uh, I always running. Oh, what's... Okay, Fletcher's going this way. 
dodging torps, but he got some torps away against the Iowa. He's on fire, the torps are on there, he's probably dead. Okay, Fletcher kills the Iowa, these are airdrop torps, they don't have range. Okay, let's just empty my barrels and switch over to the high explosive because someone needs to deal with the bloody Kiev. Because Taco is, I don't know what Taco is shooting at, but he's not the Kiev. Okay, what does it look like? They've lost a battleship and a destroyer, and um, we've lost two destroyers. Okay, so Fletcher's dead. All right, then. Uh, that means I've got Kiev all by myself, because the Taco doesn't seem to be interested in dealing with destroyers. There's a Wichita over there. Mm, Kiev is not a good angle and he's maneuvering, so I'm just going to... I know I have high explosive loaded, but I'm just going to unload on the Wichita and... Uh, and it looks like the Kiev's running away. So... Well... Is he? No, I think he's, ha he's, he's put his brave puns on. Are you coming? Okay, he's shooting at me for sure. Are you coming around? Okay, it looks like he's coming around. Okay. Right, so my team's bunkering down at home. Um, we're, we're 20 points ahead, so I'm um, see if I can deal with the Kiev here. He's gonna come around that corner. There he is. Here, I have some high explosive. Uh, he's, ah, he's in the turn. Okay, he's in a full turn. Uh, double fire, I'm gonna extinguish that. And just gonna use the, uh, gonna use the secondaries and kite away. Because, um, well, he's fast, but he's got short range torpedoes, so he actually has to catch me. And I'm in a I'm in a fast battleship or a battle cruiser if you want. So um, I'm just literally just I'm going I'm going to kite away from him and wait for him to give me something to shoot at. While he is in a very sturdy destroyer, I've got high explosive loaded, and if I get a couple good hits good good hits in, then um, then that that'll get him down. Okay, I'm running out of I'm running out of ocean here, so I'm gonna have to do something. Okay, how's my mine battery? It's almost reloaded. Okay, I'm gonna give you something to. I'm gonna give give you something to torque. All right, come here. Look, look, look. Broadsiding battleship. I'm turning. I'm turning. I'm turning. Okay, there you go. But he took the bait. He's dead. Full on. Turn, turn, you sluggish thing. The other direction. Okay, there go the torpedoes, and the torpedoes are going wide. There we go. And dodge them all. Okay. Whew. Right. Um. Yeah. Th this. Uh, this means I'm a little bit away from everything, but um, that's something you can do with, with a fast battleship or with a battle cruiser. You can actually kite away from destroyers and uh, take them out this way. So if you, if you know where they are, and with a Soviet destroyer you will know where they are because they literally can't stealth torp you, then uh, that's definitely something you can do. Now, actually, there's nothing happening anymore for the rest of the battle, <laughs> at least not from my perspective, because uh, while while I'm on full speed and I'm doing 32 knots, uh, the carrier is um, is running away from their cap, and everything's concentrating on the other side of the field. But uh, because I've taken out I've taken out Kiev here and we've killed the Iowa as well, uh, this flank's completely open. They're one ship down, and um, yeah, I'm, I I don't get to I don't get to fire again in this battle. So I'm just going to end it here, and um, we'll do another one. And here we are again. We are again top tier enemy team battleship 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 lots of battleships. Uh, Shapayev and the Chungmu. Okay, we gotta watch out with the Chungmu. Very dangerous ship, and we're playing cage on um, on uh, on cap. So it's gonna be imp it's gonna be important for us to get the cap. Now we've got a Richelieu on our team, and that that thing is kind of uh, is kind of very good at sitting Barwin in the cap. So let's hope that he does that. He's about as quick as I am. So. Uh, we we'll, we'll get in the cap because I have um, I do like to grab the early cap, but we're gonna that's gonna hurt. We're gonna cut. We're gonna catch a lot of fire, I think, if we're gonna get in the cap. And depending on where Chumu is going, we might catch some torps as well. So I'll be heading over to that island there, and uh, just want to grab the cap and uh, do some early tanking while the rest of the team is making up their minds where they want to go. The other battleships, some of them are moving, some of them don't seem to be. Our destroyer seems to have no interest whatsoever in capping, so uh, it's up to the battleships to do that. Again, um, not not the best position you can. I mean, you can put the uh, you can put the Missouri uh, bow in and just uh, you know use the front turrets and tank as much as you can. But she is not supremely uh, supremely armored. Okay, Chungmu is in the cap because he's probably the quickest to get in there, and uh, which makes sense. So let's grab the cap. Okay, there's a Bismarck. I'm spotted. So I, 
Uh, I'm probably gonna cut. I'm, I'm the only ship in the cup right now, so I'm probably gonna get some some heat here. Okay, they're they're all over there and they're all shooting at me. Uh, Shappy, let's get some shots out. Uh, I don't need radar for the Chungmu. I can see him over there because he's trying to set me on fire. Okay, double fire. Uh, okay, th they are all clustering up around there. So this is uh, this turns out this is going to turn out to be one once again a very static battle. Unless we can do something about it. Okay, first let me get out of the line of fire here. Look at these three battleships on our side, not getting in the cap circle. Sitting sitting back there doing I don't know what. Um, okay, we've got a broadsiding monarch over there. Can we get some shots out on that thing? Uh, mostly on the island. We might be able to get some hits in. Ow, ow. Uh, yeah, I am... Okay, they took out my turret. I don't like that. Here come the Chungmu Torps. Uh, okay, I think I've done enough tanking. The, okay, no, the rest of the team has shown up, so now we're all clustered together here. Well, this is a, this is turn, this is going to turn out a static slugging match, but we're holding the cap. So at this point, I can actually start running, and see if I can draw some fire away from the rest of our team, so that we get fire supremacy on this uh, on these tanking ships over there. Okay, I'm going to need my turret back though. I kind of need that. Target hit. Um, Shells, eh, not not the greatest at this range. Um, semi pens mostly, and uh, I I just I want to get out here. I know that they, I, I see you, Chungmu, but um, I want to get out here and draw some fire away and see if I can do a flanking run to to crack open that position that they're holding over there. Um, we're holding the cap circle, so um, that's all good. Chungmu smokes up. Uh, Z is going, God knows where, the long way around. If you could kill that Chungmu, that would be great. Okay. Low health Bismarck. Uh, let's get shot out and then we'll switch over to the high explosive and um, start kiting away again. So uh, let's see if you're any smarter than the Kiev in last game. <laughs> nice I'm still drawing a fair amount of fire over here, but um, that's okay. That's that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get to stop them from shooting at my... Yep, yep, I've seen them. I got this one. Don't worry. Uh, leave them to me. I got this one. Um, I'm just trying to draw the fire out. Yeah, hey, <laughs> you're giving broadside. Bad idea. <laughs> you do not want to. Okay, are you gonna get torps away or are you trying to, to rush me? So you're trying to rush me, I'll kite away. I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably quick here. It's gonna take you a while to catch up to me if I don't want you to catch up to me. And all the meantime, I can just rake you with my secondaries. Okay, come on, come on. Give me, give me something to shoot at. Give me something to shoot at. Come on, come on, I know you want to, I know you want to torp me. Uh, okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, he's getting uncomfortably close, I'm just gonna kill, kill him. I don't think he's got torpedoes away. Literally, we're, we're, ha we're four minutes into the battle and that was the first kill. Okay, our vanguard there looks very low on health. So that means we're probably gonna start losing ships soon. So, um, I'm on 17,000 health, that's not much. So. I'm just going to, I'm literally so far out of position, I'm going to, I'm going to do a flank run and see if I can kill some of these um, lower, um, lower health battleships. I mean, what we've been holding the, the cup this whole, this entire time and they've been staying outside the cup. Let's see if we can kill the monarch over there. No, oh, not, not quite. Would have been one more hit than it would have done the trick. But that was max range, so, okay, he's dead. Uh, low health Bismarck. Okay, are you moving forward? Are you moving forward or are you just trying to hang back? Now, the enemy team obviously is not trying to get into the cap circle, but they can still, I have no, I don't know how, how much health our ships are having. And they can still do, well, they can still sink ships. And um, even though there are two ships down and there's only two minutes left, so there's probably not gonna happen much of that anymore. But um, I'm gonna try and draw their fire away. Okay, and it works. Okay, Bismarck starts shooting at me. And up, turn, turn, this might hurt. Okay, over penetration, he hit my superstructure. A uh, couple more hits coming in, yep. Nothing much. Um, okay, I don't have too much space to work with here, but I draw, I've got three ships, four ships shooting at me. There's the Shapi Bismarck and the Damage Bismarck. I can't get, can't quite hit the Shapaya from there. No, sorry, that was only three ships. So I've got three ships shooting at me, which means they're not shooting at anybody else. Uh, which is good. I mean, I'm probably not going to survive this, but I don't need to. Uh, yeah, because Shapayev sets me on fire, and I'm out of um, and I'm out of uh, damage controls. So that's okay. Um, I'm, can I still take a chunk out of the Shapi? Maybe. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. But look at this. They've three three of their ships have been shooting at me, 
and I am not in any way part of the battle. I am not controlling the cap circle. Um, getting me out of the way doesn't help them get the cap circle. Um, and it, it means that they're giving, that there's a sitting here far away from the battle. I've drawn them out completely. The rest of my team sits in the cap. This is the sort of thing you can do in a fast battleship or in a battle cruiser. Once the cap is secure and your team has a foothold and it becomes a ranged artillery battle, you can do these kind of breakouts. You can do this in German battleships as well. It's a very nice move. Uh, you can do this sort of this form of breakouts and um, run a flank and try to draw away some fire from the rest of your team, which gives them opportunity to heal up, which means they're not getting focused down. And if you can hold out long enough that you're making the enemy waste and waste a reasonably large amount of firepower on you, that means, um, yeah. <laughs> You, you've uh, you, you, you done good. So, uh, we've got one kill, 54,000 damage. I'm, I'm happy with that. That's a decent result for the, uh, for this kind of battle. So, yes, the Missouri. I, I, again, I don't know how the Iowa is playing, but for me, uh, Battlecruiser. Not the most sturdy ship, not very good at brawling, but um, good at long range. Uh, can kite away from a destroyer and uh, can deal with uh, DDs that aren't stealthing up and, and do surprise runs. If you see the destroyer coming, you can turn away and do an enormous amount of damage to them. So, it's you still got a chance if you want this ship and if you like the way she plays and um, you're happy with the trade-offs, then uh, by all means and purposes, go for it. Again, for me, she doesn't make a great captain trainer, but neither does the Alabama. And for someone who's a fan of U.S. Navy battleships, they're probably just really must-haves. So uh, that's that's that. I hope that could help you a little bit. And um, if you want to make the decision, make it quick. Because again, Wednesday, the Wednesday is when the shipyard is going to roll over to something new and exciting, hopefully. That's it for today. Thanks, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye.